welcome to Lavanya's computer classes. In this video, I will explain DBMS unit to nodes. The concepts are introduction to the relational model. So, in this, what is relational model? Uh, what are the integrity constants? Everything is there in these nodes. I will explain one after another. First one is relational algebra. Here, first one is languages in DBMS. So, what are the different types of languages? Mean those are DDL, DML, TCL, DCL. Data definition language, data manipulation language, transaction control language and data control language. First, we explain what is DDL commands. The DDL commands are four different types of commands are there. Create table, alter table, drop table, truncate table. So, first one is create table. So, the create table command is used to create a table. So, syntax is create table, table name, variable 1, data type and its size, comma variable 2, again data type, its size. Example is create table student, serial number, number of 10, student name, character of 10, M1, like this we can create the table, then table is created. Second one is alter table. Alter table is used for altering the structure of a table. The options are add, modify, rename, drop. Add is used for create a new, adding a new column in the already existing table. So syntax is alter table, table name, add, new column, data type and size. So here in this previous example, I used one, I added one table, one column. Alter, next one is modify. Modify is used to change the size of the data type. Next one is rename. Rename is used for changing the field name, the old name to new name. So alter table, table name, rename, old column name to new column name. And last one is drop. This drop option is used to removing the column into the database, already existing table. Syntax is alter table, table name, drop, column, column name. So if you want to remove any column, we use alter table with table option. Next one is drop table command. Drop table command is used for drop the entire table, removing the data from the storage. Syntax is drop table, table name. And fourth one is truncate table. Truncate table is also used for removing the table from the database. Syntax is truncate table, table name. So those all are the DDL commands. Now we go for data manipulation language commands. The DML commands are insert, delete, update, select. So these four are known as DML commands. First one is insert. <coughs> Using DDL, we are creating only structure of the table. But if you want to insert any new data into the table, we have to use DML command. That is the insert command. Syntax is insert into table name values. So what are the values you want to give? You have to give it using ampersand symbol. Insert into student values ampersand serial number comma ampersand s name comma ampersand is x etc. Here remember one thing, character values are compulsory keep it in the single quotations because it is a character data type. Next one is delete statement. The delete command is used for removing the rows from the table. There are three syntaxes are there. First one is delete from table name. That means entire all the rows are deleted from the table or delete from with where condition. Delete from table name where which record you want to delete. So the where command is used for check the condition. Next one is update. Update command is used for change the values in the table. Similarly update table name set new values. So that is the update command. And last one is here select command. Select command is used for retrieval the information from the table. Select star from table name, star indicates all the rows and all the columns or if you want to select any few fields, select field name 1, field name 2 from table name where condition, either with where condition or without where condition also, we can select the data from the table. So the from class, where class is used for check the conditions. Next one is explain about TCL commands. There are two transaction commands are there, transaction control commands, commit and rollback. Commit command is used for save the changes 
recently whatever the changes are done in the database if you want to save it then we are using the command is commit syntax is just commit only rollback command rollback command is working like an undo if you don't want to do any changes you want to come back in previous position then we are using the command is rollback then dcl data control language those are grant and revoke commands grant command is used for give the permission to the users if you want to give any permissions of your database then we are using the grant command syntax is grant privilege to table name to a particular username for which user you want to give the permission you have to write the username also example grant select on student to user verb that means on the student table you are giving only select command then revoke command if we want to cancel your all permissions then you have to give the command is revoke revoke privilege on which table from which user next one is relational model in dbms relational model relation is also called as table that means the data entire data is represented in the form of rows and columns table format so like this this is a simple example for relational data model student relation student relation has some fields 1 2 3 4 5 5 with some rows four rows next one is important terminology what is important terms one is attribute attributes is also called as fields columns roll number name age all are called as attributes next domain what is domain means domain is a set of attributes values allowable values so serial number what type of serial number is a serial number is the name of the field name that is also one domain it will take any roll number uh, data numerical data type means it is also a domain like this what is tuple tuple means each row in the relation is known as tuple horizontal row is called as tuple one full record is called as tuple here one student name is there delhi some phone number the total information is called as tuple next relation instance the set of tuples a relation of a particular instances of time is called as instance relation instance at the particular moment what are the operation you perform that is called as in instance next degree degree mean the number of attributes in the field for example student table has three fields mean the degree is 3 next cardinality cardinality mean the number of tuples in a relation that means how many records are stored in the particular record horizontal rows those are called as cardinality so in the above table cardinality is 4 degree is 5 5 fields are there next one is column what is column means column represent the set of values domain not column domain next one is a roll number roll number is a one column age is another column like this column means one single field single field only null values the values which is not known are uh, unknown values is called as null values for example the phone number of a student the student has no phone number so that's why you write it just is null that means the phone field has no value at that time properties of relational model first one is the relation has a name unique name each attribute has a at least one name and each tuple has not contain same information no two records are the same and the value of an attribute are in the form of same domain all the rows are compulsory maintain the same domain so here alternate to terminology relation it is also called as file and also called as table tuple either it is called as record or rows attribute either it is called as field or column so that is the alternate to terminology next constraints very very important question what are the integrity constraints the integrity constraints are a set of rules that is used to maintain the quality of the quality of the information if we want to check the quality of information maintain the quality of information then we use integrity constraints integrity constraints are there are types of integrity constraints are there those are 
first one is domain constraint entity integrity constraint referential integrity constraint and operational constraint first one is domain constraint <coughs> domain constraint means name of the con name of the field its data type and its size everything domain constraint can be defined as the definition of a value valid set of values for an attribute so what is the name of the variable column so what type of values is accepted and how, what is the range also here example student id id is the name of the field what is its size what is its data type number what is its size some character some number of characters that means that is called as domain so here uh, a is, is we are defined like number but our last row we are entered a is, is a so it is not allowed it gives us some error constraint because a is, is compulsory accepting numerical value only next entity integrity constraint if we are applied any constraint on row wise the row is called as entity so that constraint is called as entity integrity constraint it explains no two records are same so how it is possible without taking duplicate values how it is possible to accepted unique values means for that we use one key that is called as primary key so primary key is used for enforcing entity integrity constraint example are create table student serial number number of 3 primary key SNO number 3 is coming under domain constraint. Primary key is coming under entity integrity constraint. So, the domain constraints are serial number, name of the field, number, data type, 3 is the size. Primary key is the integrity constraint. Whenever we add this key, it is not at all possible to accept duplicate values. In this example, Serial number, we enter 12, 13, 14. Again, if you 12, if you type 12, it is not accepted. Referential integrity constraint. The referential integrity for ex executing referential integrity, we need two tables. One is the master table, second one is the slave table, sub table. So, whenever you want to enter the values in the sub table, those values must be matched with master table. That means, before entering any information in the sub table, it always refers the values into the master table. That's why it is called as referential constraint. It always refers, the sub table values is always refers to the master table. So, here there are two examples are there. One is the employee table master table uh, sub table second table is department that is the master table so if any employee is recruited in the employee table that means the employee is working in any one of the organization that are that department should be available in the department table in the department table the department number is not there means it is not at all accepted so that is a referential integrity constraint here two tables are there table one is the master table second one is the sub table department is the master table and employee table is the sub table so before entering any values in the sub table the value should be matched with primary key value of the master table so in the master table dno is the primary key and sub table dno is the normal key but it is always referential key it is always refers the master table in the primary key and operational constraint so operational constraints in this operational constraints no operation is performed on non existent table and operations does not generate incorrect result so these all are called as operational constraints The entity set can have multiple keys but same of these keys are uniquely primary keys. Next one is conversion of ER diagrams into tables. ER diagram means entity relationship diagrams. How those ER diagrams are converted into relational tables. So first one is ER diagram with a strong entity set. How can you convert means first mapping of an entity set 
relation of the database then what are the fields or attributes of the table including the attributes of an entity the key attributes of an entity becomes the primary key of the relation this is one example employee er diagram with three attributes employee number employee name salary employee number is the primary key how it will be converted into a table means name of the er diagram is treated as name of the table what are the attributes are there all the attributes are converted into fields the primary key is converted into primary key of this table and this is the entity set with uh, multiple values here salary is there the salary contains so uh, basic salary hra lic so this is the in this example don't take any support take all the different fields so these all are the examples of how to convert ear diagrams into tables with uh, derived attributes multiple attributes all the all are the examples of these here also same thing any data is repeated number of times phone number is there so don't take multi valued then it is considered into two different tables this is relationship diagram how we convert relationship into tables so this is the example relationship is also possible to convert it into tables next one is query processing engine this question is already came in previous question paper query processing engine in this query processing engine there are three steps are there one is uh, parsing second one is optimization third one is execution so this is the diagram of query processing engine in sql query how to execute sql query means actually you written all the statements in sql language sql is a non procedural language language non procedural language means it explains how to uh, how to write that one but i did not explain how to execute it so how to execute it means we need some query processing that means all sql statements are converted into relational algebra relational algebra is an example for procedural query language so select e name from employee where salary greater than 10000 this is a sql statement the same thing is converted into relational algebra sigma salary condition then roll number is so after translating into the sub query go for query evaluation plan the query evaluation plan is also called as query executable also in this query ex executable statement we need optimization that means which technique is used for with less time of less time and less amount also so that is called as query optimization performance is required more performance within less time so after optimization finally we are selecting the data and to execute it that is called as evaluation execution here difference between procedural and non procedural language procedural language means in this it explains how you write the commands and how to execute the commands also so all relational algebra domain relational calculus tuple relational calculus all are the examples for procedural query languages non procedural language means it not explain how to execute it what data we need it explain but how to execute it not explain so sql is an example for non procedural query language that's why if you execute any non procedural query languages we need query processing engine that means first it converted into relational algebra then it go for execution query processor we need it so these all are the some important questions in you need to read all the questions carefully and write the exam well all the best thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel thank